A Massachusetts teen has been charged with manslaughter after encouraging her friend to commit suicide and then raising money for mental illness in his name. 18-year-old Michelle Carter of Fairhaven, Massachusetts is accused of urging her friend, 18-year-old Conrad Roy III, to kill himself, the Sun Chronicle reports. Roy did commit suicide in an idling truck last July in the parking lot of a Kmart. Police found him there after his parents reported him missing. Not only did Conrad tell Carter in several of his texts prior to his death that he was scared and didn't want to leave his family, she continued to encourage him to take his own life. And when he actually started to carry out the act, he got scared again and exited his truck. But instead of telling him to stay out of the truck, Carter told him to get back in. The spokesperson for the Bristol County District Attorney Quinn said in a statement that not only did Carter have first-hand knowledge of his suicidal thoughts, instead of attempting to assist him or notify his family or school officials, Ms. Carter allegedly had strong influence in his decision to take his own life, encouraged him to commit suicide, and guided him in his engagement of activities which led to his death. I am here to tell you that you are worthless, hopeless, and helpless. You are nobody, and your existence means absolutely nothing. I will suck the energy and motivation out of you until you no longer want to get out of bed in the morning. I will affect every single one of your lives whether it be through a loved one, such as your mom, your uncle, or even your best friend. Some of you will experience me firsthand. I have killed many people each year, and I don't discriminate based on age, gender, race, skin color, or religion. Who am I? I'm depression. Honestly, I think love is the worst thing that could happen to a person. It makes you see life in bright colors when all your life is black and white. You find home in the warmth of his arms instead of the barriers of a house. Suddenly, you're addicted to the glimmer in his eyes and the dimple when he smiles. He starts a fire in your veins, running through your body making you feel alive. But what happens when it's over? Your eyes grow dull and all the color has vanished like smoke in the wind. You are now homeless because his arms are no longer there to keep you safe. You feel like you're going through withdrawal because he was like cocaine and you started to depend on him to stay alive. The fire in your veins has diminished and now everything is just cold. He'll leave you feeling more broken than before without ever looking back at the mess he's made of you. He'll show you what love is, sure, but he'll also show you heartbreak. Love is bittersweet, but the bitterness will affect you more than the sweet.